and help? Congratulations, adventurer. I am pleased to award you with an Argent Dawn Valor token. The tokens serve two purposes. One, they can be used to further your standing within the Argent Dawn. To do so may avail you options and rewards that are reserved for our honored and revered allies. Two, they can be given to our quartermasters, along with coin, as payment for some of the Dawn's more prized items. Whatever you decide, know that you are earning your commission. Well done. contaminate it. To continue this, though I need time trinkets, ones trapped from when the plague hit. Find them in lockboxes found in the ruined buildings that make up this once proud city. tell you when you will find it most useful. Just know that at some point in the future you may find this item to have extreme utility and function when consumed. Whether or not you choose to hold on to it until then, this, my friend, is up to you.
What is happening to everyone? I feel cold. The package must be delivered. Delivered before I'm trapped here. The cries of a panicked woman feel almost like a whisper floating through the house. Cowered in the upstairs corner is the apparition of a woman. She does not seem to be fully cognizant of her surroundings. She is only vaguely aware of you. Are you here to deliver my package? Please, before it gets much worse. I was going to ride out of here. It should still be by my horse. Or am I too late? What can I do for you? Good day to you. Welcome to Stormwind. I am one of the city's officers, aiding the citizenry of the city through our Census Bureau. If you are in need of locating someone specific, then I might be able to assist you. Through arcane methods and sharpened mental discipline, I am able to access these records. If you have business with me, then please proceed. A package for an Emma Felston, you say? Last known address was Stormwind four years ago? Well, let me see here. According to what we know, there was an Emma Felston in the city about four years ago. Well, I should say possibly. This census I refer to is from five years ago, and I don't have a report of her vacating the city. This doesn't mean that she is still here, though. Wait a second. This package couldn't be for old Emma, could it? She's a tad ornery, and quite possibly out of her gourd. But the records indicate that old Emma does fit the framework of who Emma Felstone might be. Perhaps you've seen old Emma wander the city. She talks to herself, most often in nonsensical jibber-jabber. Still, she doesn't hurt anything or anyone, so folks pretty much leave her be. All things considered, I would say that old Emma is in fact Emma Fellstone. You might try asking if her last name is indeed Fellstone. My name is indeed Emma Felstone. You're the first person in years to call me that. Who? Who are you? You say you knew my sister. Is she still alive? Who am I kidding? Of course she isn't. When the plague broke out in Lord Aron, I had come to expect the worst. So many of my family died, or worse. Here I am now, crazy old Emma all alone. What are you, a grave robber or something? Looking for your next target? What? You have a package for me from my sister. It would seem that I was wrong about you, adventurer, and for that I owe you an apology. My sister sent me a number of personal effects, including, humorously enough, the deed to the Fellstone farm. I think I'll pass on reclaiming it right now. If my sister's spirit remains tethered to the farm and cannot rest, please, could you return this to her? It is half of a good luck charm she had, with her husband having the other half. Maybe her knowing I have these things will now put her soul to rest.
I cannot move, man! Dude! Let me move! Let me move!
already done me a great service, adventurer. For that I thank you. The least I can do now is tell you what brought me here. Earth Mother be praised, adventurer. Thank you. This is a great day indeed. The Shadow Council will be hard-pressed to scale to the same levels of power they once held with this blow to their hierarchy. You have done a great thing this day. Walk with the Earth Mother. I am honored. You were the one who helped Arco escape? I'm so glad you found me. She passed by here not too long ago on her way to Darnassus. She had Lightforge in tow and wouldn't even take time to speak to the druids to be healed. She said it was far too urgent. But she did tell me about your encounter with Trey's spirit. What a terrible fate for a knight of the Silver Hand. She didn't show it, but I know it's tearing her up inside, the thought of losing one of her closest friends. She would like to pretend that she's fine. She'd love for me to think that she's strong enough to deal with all of this on her own, but... I know better than that. Trey's death and hearing the torture he was put through is going to haunt her for a long time, and there's nothing we can do to stop that. But we can give her some peace. Adventurer, return to Shadowhold, kill Trey's torturer, and find his remains. There is no reason we can't tie off all these loose ends while Arkonar and mourns in her own private way. Sack carefully and prepare to make your way back to Jessir Moonbo on the border of Felwood and Ashenvale. Hopefully, the paladin will be given the proper respects once you've passed his remains on to his friends.
Ishnuala. You've done it. Praise be to Alun, and whichever powers you worship, adventurer. You have done an honorable and noble thing this day. I am certain Arkonaren will be pleased that you not only took the time to save her, but to also slay the creature who tortured one of her best friends. I wish I could do more for you, but please take this. <laughs>